One time, one time. It's got to be. Lego! Lego! Passing the prime. Them girls, they my bum, they my feel alive. Hey guys, so being our first episode, I thought I would go through certain things with us so I we would know what I'm doing. Um, well, if you hear every, any noise at all in the background, it's the school kids, and I'm going to explain to you why I'm in the middle of a school. So in Ghana right now, um, I live at my father's house, and the house is centered like in the school. The school... My parents um, have a private school, which is like a fairly common occurrence in Ghana. And they, the school is like a plot over from the house. So when I wake up in the morning and I'm going to work, it's, it's actually work, not work. It's actually work. I walk maybe 20 steps from my room to the office of the school. And I'm the admi administrator for the school. So that's what I do. Um, from Monday to Fridays from 7 a.m. to about like 2 3 p.m. and then um, on the weekend I teach at a university University of Cape Coast I'm a business um, lecturer it's what they call it here um, I'm a business lecturer I teach marketing and PR and also I think there's another course that I'll be teaching is degree students so I teach them a bit um the reason for being here and all the noise you're hearing in the background the school kids is that this is a fairly common like phenomenon in ghana where private um individuals build schools around your homes or next to their homes and stuff when they have a lot of land this is one of the business options that you can do because the government does not is not able to keep up with the demand you know for schools so people use that um as a opportunity for education and the good thing about that is um, just in like a five mile radius around here there are probably like five or six schools from different levels different income levels and all of that so you can get options for your kids and you know all of that and people in Ghana have a lot of kids they have a lot of kids so they need places to go to the public schools aren't great and usually they are like one in the district or something like that when you have thousands of people living in a district just giving them one it's not I'm a bit tired and all of that so the why and how I came to Ghana and why I'm here now I feel like that is another video um, to really explain what it is that I'm doing here and why I'm here and all of that stuff I think we would get into it a bit later on as this like vlog series like continues but for now I want to tell you about something that happened this week interesting I'm here on I'm like an abandoned road <laughs> that I'm the only one that uses this road actually I'm not the only one that uses this road but I have used this road so many times it's like somewhere I don't know where on my way home last night I was in the house and the light went off so I was like oh my god it took the power out because it's something that happens not very often in Ghana though but it happens it, it used to happen a lot but not anymore so I came outside the house on a on a just a whim and I'm saying I'm just looking around to see if everybody else's light is out and then everybody else's light is on so I was like, oh my god, like it's in the it's like 9 p.m. and I'm the only one that does not have light and I don't know what's going on. So I said, let me um go out and talk to someone about why this light is out. So I went outside and a guy that works for the house, because my father's house is not done yet. We're still like doing certain things inside the house. And his um private school is like right next door to the house. So it's not also not really done yet. And so I was wondering why it was like not done yet. Why the light was out, sorry. <laughs> why the light was out. And then I come to find out that the prepaid um, meter that the power uses, the credit is gone. So what happens is that in Ghana, a lot of the amenities are prepaid. You need to pay it by a certain amount of credit 
before you can use it and when it runs out you go and get another amount of credit there's no warning there's no here's the text message there's no email there's nothing it's like you just got to be prepared for it so this um thing went off and i had to walk like when i tell you how much i walked i'm not kidding i probably would have i probably walked like an hour looking for it because everywhere i go they say their network is down is down which is i don't know exactly what that means i'm thinking probably the internet but i don't know so then i finally got it and i had to walk an hour back to the house and so i'm just saying like this is like one of the things that you need to look forward to if like you plan on living here you're prepaid running out but so far i've been here um exactly a month um tomorrow no tuesday so today's thursday so a month um on tuesday and um so far it's been okay it's it's been fine just these little like inconveniences here and there and stuff but it's fine i can handle it and um yeah that's all i wanted to share for today for our car girl this week is this is my talk for the week and everything is okay everything is fine i need to go do my hair i'm on my way actually gonna go do my hair so see you Show down. Oh, yeah. So we are filming in the dark and that's because the lights went out again and this time around it's not about the meter it's a general light out everybody in this neighborhood does not have light right now the only thing that's going on right now is this little flashlight situation okay so this is a phone vlog so yeah um it's just one of those things again that happens that you just you know kind of rock and roll I think everybody in kind of West Africa is kind of used to their lights kind of going off a big. Um, sometimes it's big, sometimes it's long. But in Ghana, it's not really long. It's probably for like an hour or two. The light has been out for like an hour already. And somewhere along the line, it will come back on. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. So, yeah. Just a little like life update for you. <laughs> So far, I would say I love my life in Ghana. I am back home, but it's like a new place altogether for me. I love that I get to go to the beach whenever I want because I'm literally 10 minutes away from it. I also love that I've met new people, I've met new friends, I've met new business people, and you know, new opportunities, new ideas, all of that. I am very happy about this move right now, and I encourage you to subscribe. You know, thumbs up, I'll be here every week with a new scene when something interesting, wherever I go, whatever it is that I do, I will bring it here so you can also share in it, maybe for nostalgic reasons, or just because you want to, you know, see something fun. You're also encouraged to follow me on my Instagram at Nana Ashanti Vlog, where I share beautiful, beautiful photos from Ghana, and also at my Twitter and my Facebook, Nana Ashanti Vlog. I will catch you next week. Thumbs up. I will see you later. One time, me never, never. Them my girls, them my coming over. Bad man, me, I wanna 